I feel like it, it, we're so talented and we're just so capable of everything. Now I'm rambling, but the point is, um, <laughs> cue the tears. Uh, no, but yeah, the point is, the world is catching up and, and we're just so excited to tell these stories that are real people, you know? Because at the same time, it's also like, hey, we're also, you know, like Crazy Rich Asians, yeah, it's an all Asian cast, but at the same time, it's also just a freaking good rom-com too, you know what I mean? Like, we're also capable of telling really relatable stories, you know? Um, cut me off, cut me off, but you get it. <laughs> After the interview. You can talk all day. Bye. Um, one more question, I think. Does anybody have? Yeah. Hi, my name is Shoya. I'm from Long Beach, and my question is for Bradley. I love the pilot, and I love how diverse you showed how L LA is supposed to be. Yeah. And I'm, in, I'm really into social justice, and I just want to ask, why did you Because, God, you got me choked up and now I'm getting choked up again. Because <laughs> we're surrounded by it and it's relentless and it's happening out there every day. And we need, we need to tell the stories now more than ever. And I, I'm sick of reading about them. I'm sick of seeing the videos. I'm sick of the fighters in the streets that, aren't, that are fighting for justice, that aren't getting justice for these poor kids. You know, and so now was the time, and you know we want to make sure we're doing the story justice, and so we did a lot of research, and we brought in a lot of people to talk about this story, in particular in the writers' room. Um, uh, you know, Black Lives Ma Black Lives Matter becomes a big part of the journey on our show, and we brought in a lot of people from Black Lives Matter to talk about, you know, the fight, and so you know we're very proud of the story, and it's just gonna get more intense as the, as the episodes roll out, but we're very proud of being able to tell these kinds of stories because, you know, once upon a time we were told we can't, and that time is no longer, you know, and it's our, it's our job, all of us as storytellers, as actors, as filmmakers, to push the big guys to say, you know what, this, this is the real world, and let's tell these stories now more than ever. So that's why we did it. Storylines can we expect for the rest of the season? You're oh, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I will say is, if if you did watch The Fosters, we have a lot of our family members coming back. Yeah. The moms come back. I got to direct two episodes this season. Both episodes I directed have the moms in it, and they are amazing. They're better than ever, um, and they become a very big part of our world. Um, Jude is back. Jesus, Noah Centineo is back. Um, so it's, that's a lot of stuff to look forward to. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Thank you, Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell your friends. What's the date it airs? Tuesday, January 8th. Yes. On Hulu and Freeform. Hulu and Freeform. So next Tuesday, or this Tuesday, Tuesday coming up. Yes. 8 o'clock? Tuesday, that's the 8th. Thank you, guys.